Hi everyone, it's the Schniz Knight, aka the Sega Collector here, and today we're going to take a look at this Sonic plush. Um, actually, no. Let's make this review a bit more unique. This is the Japanese UFO Sailor Sonic plush. I decided to take this plush outdoors and bring it to some locks and rivers nearby, as I find it is only fitting. The Sailor Sonic plush is unique because of what is said in its title. It's a Sailor Sonic plush. I love the older Japanese Sonic plushes so much because a lot of them had very specific themes and were not just stock standard Sonic plushes. There are Sonic plushes with flowers and bow ties, Sonics in Christmas hats, and Sonics in little sweaters. I think I love this plush so much because of its nautical theme. Fun fact, I really like boats, and I love rivers and oceans, so this one genuinely means a lot to me. As shown on the touch tag, this Sonic plush was made in 1994, so that's like 20 plus years ago. The overall construction of the plush is really great, as with most UFO plushes. This era of Sonic plushes began to see the plush makers moving away from the vinyl or sometimes felt eye design, and going on to use plastic beads for eyes. This is a great choice as it makes the plush stand the test of time a bit easier. Sonic's nose is nice and pointing, and his smile looks great and is stitched in. Sonic also sports separated finger detailing. One hand has his hands open, and the other hand has him pointing. Simple position changes such as these make the plush even more interesting. And, interestingly enough, I really like Sonic's shoes. You don't see this often, but they really capture that pointy look of them. Of course, let's now talk about Sonic's sailor cap. It's actually extremely adorable, and is even lightly stuffed so it keeps its shape. Sonic also wears this cute little tie, with some extreme fashion going on. I really like the addition of these cute details. To me, it doesn't seem chintzy. It gives the plush a lot of character. In all, Sonic stands roughly 9 inches tall. This has instantly become one of my favorite plushes in my collection, and I'm really glad to have it.